school days, many bullies are, are there. So always I used to get beaten by them. I have to compete with the, with the guys who, which is in 70, 80 cages, but they cut down to bantam weight, 63. I don't have any decorated belt in my waist, no black belt, nothing, but I have only experience. I begin at a very young age, you know, because during that era in 1992, in our school days, many bullies are, are there. So always I used to get beaten by them in school. So one day I meet my teacher, his crew, Tiger Sana. He's, uh, so I start uh, learning with him in the garage. He's a mechanic in fact, but he's a very good teacher. He's a Muay Thai, Muay Boran uh, teacher. So from him only I start learning Muay Thai, Muay Boran. And in 1998, I start my first pro debut as a pro kickboxer in Thailand. I'm not representing India. I'm not representing anybody. I represent myself. I feel proud after winning that fight. I got 10,000 bucks for that particular fight. That was the memorable fight in my life. Since 1998 till 2016, I continue my fight uh, in kickboxing, Muay Thai boxing, and I do even in MMA, Jiu-Jitsu, many fights. In 2016, I retired myself as a fighter. Age is a matter. Now I'm already 42, so I have a family, and I have to look after my family. So it's a bit tough for me to continue as a fighter and, and to look after the family. So. There are lots and lots of problems, but for me, I do not look after the problem. I look after the possibilities. What are the possibilities to be a, a fighter, to become a fighter? So I, no matter what, I become a fighter. Sometimes it feels hard for me because when I fight in MMA, I have, during those days, 2010, when I uh, fight in SFL, I have to compete the, with the guys who, which is in 70, 80 kgs, but they cut down to bantam weight, 63 kgs. I'm only 52, so it's very tough. But in fact, they cannot damage me anything. Uh, they just win by points only. Not only me, there's a lot of my, one of my friends is Johnny Rantatiam and many more. And in fact, we are the legends and the pioneers in Meghalaya. But now a lot of fighters coming up, so I'm very happy. And in fact, I'm not considering myself as a coach, but I, I'm helping others to become fighters, to become a professional fighters. I don't have any decorated belt in my waist, no black belt, nothing, but I have only experience and uh, this experience I'm leading them to, to become a better, better fighter, fighters, to become, to take part in many uh, platforms. Johnny Rintatiang is my friend, so he usually uh, observe my fights. When I fight, I never go for a submission. I know I, I can take submission, but sometimes I prefer to finish my opponent by damaging through smashing his face, doing uh, smashing elbow to his face uh, through ground and pound. So my friend they suggest me when you open a gym, you must you must name as a ground and pound because every time you fight, you fun you finish it in ground and pound. Looking after I retired from the fights, I did not concentrate anything of I did not plan for set up a gym. So many of them came to me, sir, we want to learn self-defense. I told them I don't waste time teaching somebody self-defense. If you want to learn, come, I will we'll try to make you a better fighter, to become a professional fighter. So still now, I'm, I'm not interested of giving anybody self-defense training. Uh, those who want to become fighters, they have to decide. They have to have a desire. They have to have a vision and a mission to become a fighter or, or else I'm not ready to teach anybody. A new version of Ground and Pound. There are a lot of uh, earlier version like Anastasius Sernowski, if you have heard about him. He was a boom MMA fighter. He was a champion even there. And we have Anthony. He's an MFN and he has having his shoulder injury. He have to pull out this recent fight. And we have Daniel Damlong. He's the heavyweight guy. And he, I'm sure he will be one of the best in the Indian uh, heavyweight right now. We have we just finished one fight in Nagpur. He had been performed very good. Everyone is impressed. So now we have Kerry, a new version of uh, Ground and Pound. Lam Corridor, in fact, he's not a new version. 
he had been doing before also but uh, he has some uh, illness in him so he have to stop for some time now he's he's healthy so he, he's coming back so i'm i i'm sure he's coming back will be giving a very a very good fight and people will love his fight too i was a pioneer along with two or three of my friends in Meghalaya MMA. So uh, we are growing now. We are not in the level to say that we are uh, we are good or bad, I cannot say, but we are growing now and so many good fighters are coming up. Though we didn't even need any uh, sponsorship from anybody, but we did, we grow up, grow up by ourselves. So this is the most important. We have to have our own desire to become something. So. I'm sure that there will be more and more fighters in Meghalaya and they are damn good fighters, not only just fighters. If you want to become something, somebody, anything, yeah, you have to have the desire from your own, you have to have a vision, you have to have a mission to accomplish that. So I will not say that everyone you should come to my training camp to MMA become MMA, MMA fighters. You have to choose whatever you want to become to be. Even if you want to become a footballer, you have to be a professional footballer. If you want to become a kickboxer, you have to be a professional kickboxer. Don't just become an ordinary player. So anyone who wants to become, I'm always welcome. You know, ground on pound, we never charge anybody to for a single pie to learn. We never take fees, but we make fighters good. So our door are welcome to anybody, but. I'm, this is my message. I don't spend time. I don't invest my time te teaching uh, self-defense to anybody. If you have any problem, go to the police station, file an FIR. I don't come to our gym. <laughs>